Okay, in the previous tutorial I showed you how you could set up your own paint program so you could use it to edit from within Blender and that's very convenient but perhaps you don't have a paint program set up on your computer at the moment and you still want to modify your images well you don't have to worry about that because you have the Muddy Blender at your disposal to help you create your own images and we can do that and we'll do that in just a minute with see this menu right here view that's what we're looking at we're looking at view but we can also go into paint mode and we're going to do that in just a second but first thing let's take a look at this set of menu items right here you see this scripted for this is this current image right there this is the selected object well we've been loading images like this replacing them and opening them in here and opening them within the node editor but all everything we've been opening is still in this list now right here and if you're familiar with my Python tutorials this will look very familiar you add you can add empty slots like this here's it adding a new image to the list alright we won't do that we'll just quit that we're gonna do that in a second or you can open them and put them in the list but the nice thing about them being in the list is that I can go over into this window and edit this and then with this in edit mode like that then I can just pick a new image out of the list and I just go, oh, okay, I like that image instead, or no, I like that, I have the same one, maybe that one, I go, no, that doesn't work for me, or maybe this one, I'll map on there, that still doesn't work, what about that one, oh, that's the same as before, and there's that red one, what is that one, well, we'll just leave it like that, all right, so then I edit it there, so now I have that new image mapped onto the scene, okay, so that's one thing to keep your life a little bit simpler but now the next thing is what's really cool is that we can make a new program a new paint program of our own so I just click that plus button and give it a new name and I'll call it you know new design and you can see we have our we can specify the resolution width and height and we can use the alpha channel for transparency if we want and we'll leave it look at it generated UV grid blank color we'll just leave it blank for the moment and we'll just say okay alright so now we have a blank surface but then what do you do with it basically it's a canvas 1024 by 1024 for you to be able to paint onto well then that's where you switch into paint mode like this and then you can also come up here and press N on here and then I mean yeah well no I need N in this window not I can't be in that window Alright, so notice end is a whole different game now. Suddenly we have, there's our grease pencil like before, but down here in the display, basically we've brought up paint mode, and well, let's go see if it works just like as intuitive it is. There's violet color, we can come over here, and we can just start painting. Let's crank up the uh, strength a little bit. Let's get full strength. It's got some kind of texture in there, mix. I just want to add, let's see. Oh, now it's adding let's see add, add, add. We guess we don't want add let's add hmm. I don't know why that does that I don't use their paint program but you can see that you can use it let's see what kind of tools yeah they keep upgrading this all the time and I haven't really spent any time working with oh here's a nice airbrush let's see what this will do that doesn't look quite right. Let me see. I'm not doing something yet. Texture draw. Paint. Texture draw. No. Let me see. No, that's not it. Why is this? It doesn't look quite right. It's giving me a. There's no jitter. Texture. Oh, maybe it's because it's got a texture set. Maybe. Let's try that. Oh, there's, I said new, and that gives me a plain drawing surface. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to let you experiment with the paint program because I haven't spent any time whatsoever in their paint program. But I suspect this, like a lot of blenders, probably very powerful. And um, But I have my own paint program that I use to create all these geometric designs you see in here to map onto and it's quite a bit different than using just traditional paint which I'm not really good at doing traditional illustration even though I've painted on you know I painted acrylics on a canvas for a while I'm still not trained as an artist and my work is only okay but mathematically I can generate all kinds of cool stuff and you'll see a lot of examples of that as I get my um, sci-fi animator website uh, loaded up here maybe even this month
All right. Well, so then you have an image in here like this. It'll be, it's called new design. Let's go back into view mode. And let's get rid of this end here. We'll go back into here. So then, since it's, we, we just, well, there we go. We'll go into edit mode in here. And we'll go look for new design. Should be right there. Voila. Now you've just painted your new texture onto the surface. Don't even need an external paint program. All right. Simple as that. All right. Well, have at it. Maybe you can find some. Maybe it's really powerful relative to GIMP even. I don't know. I'll do some experimenting with it. See if I can find some really unique features because I know paint programs pretty well in general. And um, I'll see you in the next lesson.